When we first saw the block of land, it was so small that we were surprised they wanted to build the house here. It's a bit wider than the parking slot. Rokutsubo House is home to a young family of four, two parents and two young children. The Tsubo unit is a particular way to measure the area in Japan. One Tsubo is 3.3 square meter. So the total area is 6.3 Tsubo. That's why we called it the Rokutsubo House. My name is Yugo Yamada from Artevan Architect. I designed Rokutsubo House. Integrating hidden storage using curtains in clever ways and making your spaces more multi-purpose. Learn how to bring these and other genius ideas to life in your home. Reimagining Small Space Living is now shipping worldwide from the US, Europe and Australia. This site was in Yotsuya, Shinjuku, located in the corner of a group of old houses. Shinjuku is one of the most famous areas in Tokyo. It has high office building, but also old residential areas with small houses. As the house is narrow, we wanted to create large vertical space, such as a trium, in order to help give the illusion of the bigger place. The client knew that the place was narrow, so they wanted to expand the space vertically. The house has three stories, which is the maximum height due to building restrictions. To maximize space in the house, I ordered skip floor in between for the bathroom and the bedroom. The entrance feature a custom 4.8 meter iron aperture. It is designed as a big door with an arched window above. We wanted an elegant element fitted for the praying facade. The inside of the door has a custom dress-like curtain made by a fabric designer for privacy. On the wall at entrance, we added mirror storage cabinets and niche for the client speakers. The mirror door is both functional and helps to make the space appear larger. In this project, we spend a lot of time deciding the dimension of the atrium. The family wanted a cafe-like space. The dining room and the living rooms share the same space. The ceiling here is 5 meter tall, so it feels very spacious. The family spends most of their time here. The furniture in the living room was selected by the client, including the antiques and locker. The door for the toilet is an antique from 1890, so we match the color of the space to the door. Having a separate toilet here allows the family to maintain the privacy of the rest of the house. As you walk up the step to the kitchen, there is a stretch on one side and the tall mirror on the other. This tall mirror is where the family check their full outfit before going out. The client loves to cook and the requested professional kitchen appliance. There's a powerful oven by Viking, a gas cooktop and commercial range food, and a large sink. The kitchen benches and wall were finished in stainless steel to match with the appliance. It also makes for an easy surface to clean. On the other side, we continue the stainless steel for the shelves and the drawer. The kitchen is elevated to separate it from the living room. This allowed us to add extra storage below the kitchen. From the kitchen, there are stairs that lead to a balcony-like landing. The stairs float on top iron beams to arrow right through to the kitchen. Behind the curtain, there is washing machine. 
the top of the stairs and the entrance to the bathroom can also be closed off using the same curtain to create one seamless curtain wall. In order to create a large and comfortable bathroom, we use entire width of the house. This means that you have to pass through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. The bathroom has space for the everything you need a shower, toilet, sink, and even a full-size bathtub. It's a hotel-like space surrounded by tiles. The bathroom door is glass. It allows for light to come through from the front windows. From the bathroom, the stairs lead to the two bedrooms. A niche for the book was made using the dead space in the stairs. The children's room has an over 3 meter ceiling height space. This room has skylight and window to help keep the space nice and bright. We also choose bright color for this room as it is also the playroom for the children. We choose different floors between rooms to emphasize each own ambience. For the main bedroom, they wanted dark color to focus on the strip. There is a building stretch along the side of the wall in the main bedroom. It has a lot of space for the parents' clothes and personal items. On the other side is a space-saving staircase that goes to the rooftop balcony. Under the stairs, there is even more storage space for clothes and small items. On the rooftop, we created the widest rooftop balcony that we could make. The furniture here was made by the client. The wall panels can be removed to create a bench seat or table. The land in Tokyo costs a high due to its demand. If it has a lot of elements, maybe the house size is not as important as we think. Small inner city homes like Rokutsubo can have all of the elements the user need. But it is not only limited to the house itself. There is a big park and great infrastructure nearby. The whole city is an extension of their house. Thanks for watching. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at never too small dot com slash submissions.